Kingdom greetings from Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Joseph Forbes, called Holy Prophet Ambassador. Revelation 5, 1, the lion from the tribe of Judea. Then I saw in the right hand of one seated on the throne, a scroll, with writing on the inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. I also saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seal? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or even to look in it. And I cried, I cried, because no one was found worthy to open the scroll, even to look in it. Then one of the elders said to me, stop crying. Look, the lion from the tribe of Judah, the root of David, he has been victoriously, so that he was open the scroll and its seven seal. Then I saw one like strengthened lamb standing between the throne and the four living creatures. And among the elders, he had seven horns, seven eyes, which are the seven spirit of God sent out in all the earth. He came and took the scroll and of the right hand of the one seated upon the throne. When he took the scroll, the four living creatures and 24 elders fall down before the lamb. Each one had halves of gold bowl filled with incense, which is the prayers of the saints and to sing a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seal because you were slaughtered and your redeemed people for God by your blood from every tribe, language, people, nation. You made them to them a kingdom of priests to our God and they shall reign on the earth. They shall reign on the earth. And people and nation, you must take them a kingdom of priests to our God. You made them a kingdom of priests to our God. And they shall reign on the earth. Then I look and heard a voice of many angels around the throne and also the living creatures and the elders their number revelation 5 11 then i look and heard the voice of many angels around the throne and also the living creature and the elders their number was countless thousand plus thousand of thousand they said with a loud voice the lamb who was slaughtered is worthy to receive power and riches wisdom and strength and honor glory and blessing I heard even the creatures in heaven, on earth, under the earth, of the sea, and everything in them, saying, Blessed, honor, glory, dominion to the one who sits on the throne of the Lamb. Forever and ever and ever. And many people, nations, 
you have made a kingdom of priests to our God, and they shall reign on earth. They shall reign on earth. Kingdom citizen of the kingdom of God shall reign on the earth. God never ever promised you heaven, but he promised to reign with you on the earth. Every Christian, Christian leaders believe that when they die, they go into heaven, but heaven is coming down on the earth. The message of Jesus Christ is a kingdom of God in the hearts of man on the earth. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God's original plan for mankind is to extend heaven to earth, a colony of citizens with his family, of a made of his image and likeness to rule on the earth. God give you dominion. God give you dominion. God give you kingdom, leadership, dominion over earth resources. God has given to mankind kingdom, leadership, dominion over earth resources. You are a leader sent by God to reign on the earth, to rule, to be king. Revelation 5 from Jesus Christ, which is the first begotten from the dead, the rulers of the kings of the earth who love us and wash us in his own blood from our sins and made us kings and priests unto God. You are king and a priest. You are king and a priest, priest to reign with Jesus on the earth.